there are many different first-person shooters on Steam. As a genre, it probably has the most entries in Steam's free category. Today, I've picked the best ones just for you. This list actually won't be ordered. Instead, I will present you 5 very different first-person shooters from different subgenres, so everyone gets something to enjoy. Also, just a note, Team Fortress 2 is disqualified from this list since you all probably heard of it, and yes, it is still great, if you really haven't heard of it, check it out. With that said, on to the first game, which is Black Squad. It's a very generic shooter actually, but the best free one Steam has to offer, and with a community of over 10,000 players at its peak. It's fun and satisfying. It comes with a great minimap and many game modes. It's very similar to Call of Duty in many ways, but it has the classic Counter-Strike game mode as well. You won't find a better generic shooter than this one, if that's your thing, but maybe it isn't. Maybe you aren't really into generic shooters, or you are perhaps bored of them. To you I present Deceit, a horror multiplayer experience. You are queued with 5 players and 2 of you are infected. The goal is to escape or kill the infected if you are innocent. If you are infected yourself, the goal is to obviously kill other players. You need to work together to find out which players are infected and you need to do it as soon as possible because they get stronger as time progresses. Deceive other players, transform into your demonic form and slaughter everyone if you're infected. It's a really fun concept and it can be a great time spent with friends. There's over 2000 players playing non-stop so you won't struggle finding matches. Not into horror? Maybe you'll like the next game on this list, Paladins. It's a hero shooter. In its early days called a free Overwatch clone by many. But that is far from truth. It has many differences in mechanics to strip away the Overwatch clone tag from itself. Most notably a collectible card system that players can use to amplify and augment a character's core set of abilities. Many people recognize how great this game actually is, with over 30,000 players playing daily at its peak. There is a huge community. The game is also constantly being updated and has a great competitive scene. Even with Battleborn going free after its failure to beat Overwatch in the market, they still failed miserably to gain any player since Paladins is a well established option in the free hero shooter market. If hero shooters are your thing, this is by far the best free option out there. But maybe you'd like something a little bit older? Maybe with zombies? No More Room in Hell is your game. It's a co-op shooter in which you need to survive waves of zombies. It's very similar to Left 4 Dead in many ways, but still unique in its own. And it's free. It may be pretty old, having been released in 2011, but it still has many people playing it with over 600 ongoing players. Maybe it has dated graphics, but its atmosphere and fun gameplay make it a must play for fans of zombie shooters. A few honorable mentions before we get to the last game. If you're looking for a cowboy shooter, make sure to check out Fistful of Frags. And if you're looking for a more generic thing, check out Warface or Zula, with the first one better than the other. Also, if you are looking for another hero class shooter, you might want to check out Dirty Bomb, it's a very good game as well. With those out of the way, the last game on the list is a fairly old one. One for people who enjoy shooters with big maps and many players. Planetside 2. With 100 vs 100 fights, it features much more players on a map than now chart-topping battle royale games. A futuristic FPS that still holds on after a long time with a daily peak of more than 3000 players. It is maybe not as beginner friendly as other games on the list, but it is very worth getting into if you like the concept. It's one of the best combined arm shooters out there. 
And you should really check it out if you already haven't. I didn't really go in depth for any of these games and for that I do apologize because I just don't have the time. But hopefully I gave you some great options to check out if you're a fan of first person shooters. And that's it for this list. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed leave a like. And also if you're interested in more top lists, free games or more great gaming content consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you for all the support and I'll see you in the next video, bye!